Aunt Becky arranged a playdate for the twins and some bozo named Cooper. The kiddos stack while the moms talk sweaters. Cooper's dad says it's hard finding friends for Coop because he's so smart. Jesse tries to keep up with this tiny brain brag sesh, but while Nikki and Alex can barely mumble, Coop speaks in full sentences. Cooper talks good. Cooper talks well. Cooper's ready to get smacked at an eighth grade level. Coop's rents have been beating him with flashcards to get him into Booton Hall, the Bay Area's most prestigious preschool. Aunt Becky and Jesse have been less proactive with their morons. The most important choice a parent can make for his child is to pick the right preschool. I see why Cooper says dumb shit in other people's homes. They warn if these kids don't get on the fast track now, they'll wind up stupid failures sucking dick in alleyways to pay for sweaters. A, B, C, D, E, F, C. Go fuck yourself, Cooper. Danny's training for the Hypebeast Olympics. Kimmy got her license. She wants to take the gals for a ride in her brother's car, The Wild Thing. I have a rule. No daughters of mine are getting inside a vehicle called The Wild Thing. Weirdly specific rule, but its day has come. Jesse and Aunt Becky are overwhelmed by Booten's application, and not just because they have to spell Katsopolis. To make matters worse, Nikki and Alex are dumb. Joey comes in because he has no job. Jesse laments his boys are not Booten bound. Joey has an idea. Lie your sack off on that application. A dad who cares would give his kids an edge. And that edge is lying both your nuts off. If I don't lie for him, who will? I got 500 grand that says Aunt Becky could be persuaded. Danny's back from a road test with Kimmy. Flawless. No notes. He gives his blessing to ride that wild thing. Booten Hall called. The application was unbelievable. Impossible to believe. They want the boys to interview this afternoon. I'm gonna go give them a bath. Somehow they look smarter when they're clean. Might want to scrub those boneheads twice, Aunt Bex. Jesse wanted to impress Booten Hall, so he wore his fanciest chain and taco meat shirt. He confirmed confesses he made some itty-bitty lies on the application. Ambassador and Mrs. Katsopoulos. Itty-witty-bitty lies. But worse than that, is this school spies on applicants through two-way glass? Psycho shit. They get front-row tickets to Jesse jostling his kid's tiny brains and cleaning his nasty teeth. She reveals they've been observing as part of their super-normal interview process, then talks more about that fast-track nonsense. Jesse and Becky will need to keep teaching at home to reap the school's benefits. Oh yeah, well, our kids love to reap. They love to reap what Aunt Becky sows. Jesse tries to bounce before the bilingual intelligence test when Aunt Becky comes clean. Jesse lied, but smart interview lady already deduced that and doesn't care. It shows they want what's best for their kids? Huh. Okay. Meanwhile, the gals are driving Wild Thing, listening to the song Wild Thing, a bit on the nose, who cares? They spot some nerds and goof on them by running around their car, but lock themselves out, whoops, who cares? Danny pulls up thanks to TV Dad Magic. He's disappointed they had fun and sends them walking all the way home from what appears to be the Hollywood Hills. Jesse is yelling at his kids to learn while they wait to hear from Booten. And Becky says they're not having fun. Back off the learning and let them be kids. Michelle comes in on her yeehaw shit with a letter. The twins got ins. And we never see Cooper ever again. He he cracked under his parents' unreasonable pressures and probably fucking killed himself under a pile of sweaters. So what did we learn today? Private preschools just want money. There's no such thing as a smart baby, especially when the brains of one idiot gets distributed between two bodies. And if you pick having fun over educating your child, it's okay to cheat their dumb ass into a privileged school because you want what's best for them. Just ask Aunt Becky. And only a dope would goof on Bay Area nerds in the 90s because those dorks are billionaires now. See you next time on a very special episode. Oh.